Hospitals in Karachi are overwhelmed with chikungunya patients. Major government hospitals report 500 to 750 suspected cases daily. This surge is putting extra pressure on already struggling public health system. So let's talk about what chikungunya is, how it spreads, and why it is affecting Karachi so severely. Chikungunya is a viral disease transmitted by infected Aedes aegypti mosquitoes. These mosquitoes also spread dengue and the Zika virus. The term chikungunya comes from a word in the Kimkund language, meaning to become contorted, describing the joint pain associated with the disease. Understanding its origin helps us grasp why the outbreak is so concerning. Chikungunya spreads when an infected mosquito bites a healthy person. The mosquito injects the virus into the bloodstream, and if another mosquito bites the infected person, it can carry the virus to others. The highest risk of spreading the virus occurs within the first week of infection, highlighting the urgency of addressing this issue. The chikungunya outbreak in Karachi is alarming. Severe cases have been reported, especially among the elderly and those with diabetes. Complications can lead to neurological issues, heart problems, and prolonged hospitalization. Reports show that from May to September, 172 confirmed cases were recorded, but the actual number is much likely higher due to high testing costs and mixed diagnosis. This underreporting makes the situation even more critical. Common symptoms include fever and joint pain, which can be severe and persist for months. Other symptoms may include headaches, nausea, fatigue, and a rash. For example, Karachi resident Nawal Malik experienced widespread joint pain and other symptoms after contracting the virus. These symptoms can significantly impact the quality of life for those affected. There are no specific medicines for chikungunya. Treatment focuses on rest, hydration, and pain relievers. However, certain pain relievers like NSAIDs should be avoided until dengue is ruled out due to bleeding risk. This lack of targeted treatment complicates recovery for many patients. Preventing mosquito bites is the best way to avoid chikungunya. This includes wearing long clothing, using mosquito repellents, eliminating standing water, and staying indoors or using mosquito nets when outside. Awareness of these preventative measures is essential in curbing the outbreak. Currently, there is a single-dose chikungunya vaccine approved in the US, but it is not yet available in Pakistan. The Sindh Health Department relies on vaccines authorized by the World Health Organization, which has not yet approved a chikungunya vaccine. This gap in available resources underscores the need for urgent public health initiatives. The Sindh government is conducting spray activities to eliminate mosquitoes and is running awareness campaigns. These efforts also include large society activities to prevent mosquito bleeding. Such measures are crucial in controlling the spread of chikungunya and protecting public health.